Here at Filion HQ, we are constantly evolving. And what better way to upgrade than with today's video sponsor, Displate. Displates are one-of-a-kind metal posters designed to capture your unique passions. They have created a 21st century canvas that's sturdy, magnet-mounted, and durable enough to withstand a lifetime of intense staring. Displate is a home to genuine artists who create these awesome designs. You guys can customize your displate and make it your own. Pick your size, go with glossy or matte, and pick the frame to bring out the best in the displate. When it comes to the environment, Displate likes to plant ahead. That's why for every displate sold, they plant one tree for the places that need it most. Together with the nonprofit organization Trees for the Future, Displate has planted over 13 million trees. Right now there's a Black Friday sale going on until December 3rd that is already attached to my link. After that, you guys will receive 15% off flat across all of your Displate orders. Head on over to Displate.com or click the link in the description down below and use code Filion at checkout so that you guys can get your displates today. Thank you, Displate, for sponsoring this video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the four biggest fake natties, in my opinion. And as you guys know, fake natties are people who take steroids and claim that they don't. Being natural is like having your lifting virginity. You're pure and holy in the third eye of truth's vision. But once you take steroids, boom, it's all over. Even if you've taken them in the past, no, you can't just be like, oh, I'm natty now. It's been a while. It's not how it works over here. I'm approaching this video that we're all in the know. I'd like to think that my viewers are pretty intelligent and that we're all educated enough to understand that the bodies we're going to be talking about today are unattainable naturally. These are the four horsemen of fake natties. They continue to write the book on being a fake natty. It's rather strange, but they continue to lie about their natural status for a myriad of reasons. Some of these reasons include number one, the economic incentive. There is money to be made being a fake natural. You are the poster boy for many companies to peddle their products. Jim Shark, need I say more? Number two, your reputation. You wanna look good to the masses. I mean, your social media persona. Why don't you wanna to appeal to as many people as possible? You don't wanna be polarizing. No, you wanna maximize profits. And how do you do that? You lie about your fake natural status. But you know what's even crazier? There are two options here for these juicers. Number one, the people close to them know that they're juicing. Number two, the people close to them don't know that they're juicing and they're secretly sipping on the Capri Sun behind their backs because let's be honest guys, taking anabolic steroids is not the most like noble thing, you know what I'm saying? Which brings me to number three, believing your own lie because technically you're not lying if you don't believe that you're lying. And right here we get into some deep psychosis and trust me, I would not put it past a social media influencer to have some sort of psychosis along the lines of lying about their juicing to maximize profits, appeal to the masses, and just feed their ego through their own narcissistic reasons. So I'm not gonna sit here and overanalyze exactly why each individual is on steroids. I frankly don't have the willpower to do that anymore. I think I'm too smart to do that. It's not a good use of my time. It's like the judge, jury, and executioner. You know what I'm saying? I've lifted for over five years, and my opinion on these individuals are not going to change because I know what is achievable naturally, and I hope that you guys do too. After about four to five years of training, you don't linearly progress until infinity like some of these individuals are doing. Well, Philion, their physiques haven't changed in years. Yeah, because they're blasting and cruising to maintain a physique that is picture perfect for social media. Why are you gonna mess with something that's working? Matt does fitness. What are you doing, Matthew? This man keeps up with my content, and at some point in time, I bet he probably wanted me to make a natural or not video on him, so then he can retaliate, because it's good for views, debunk it, ooh, I'm still natural, Philion's a puss boy, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Matt Does Fitness is a stark defender of his natural status, which makes me even more suspect. The man's made like 20 videos on if he's natural or not. Wouldn't you think you would just not talk about it? If you really didn't care, if you were really natural, or even if you were smart, wouldn't you just not address it? Hey, look at me guys, this is me looking totally natural with shitty lighting and pushing out my stomach, not flexing. But then 10 minutes later, I get a pump and I'm in some down lighting and I look roided out. This man has constantly preached his holier than thou genetics, which is fine. Matt Does Fitness makes a living off of his body and has a full family. Do you really think he would run the chance of not performing 
as best as possible. Not only does he make a living off of social media, he is one of the biggest fitness influencers there are. You're just not going to look that full, pumped up, and be that strong at this body fat percentage. You can't walk around with all this muscle year round when you eat like shit for videos on YouTube. It's not going to happen. Oh, it's just a highlight. I don't eat like this all the time. It's enough to mess with your diet, okay? It's enough to make this climate for building muscle not ideal. <laughs> oh, I have a fast metabolism. Nobody's metabolism burns 10,000 calories. Just like, what? Oh, Filion's just salty because he has shitty genetics. Poverty genetics. My guy, who is 6'4", at 19 years old, benching 300 pounds, naturally. Not many, just because I do it naturally, and I, I, I'm competing against people in the fitness industry who are roided out of their minds and has completely shifted what's normal to look like. You guys know what they say. Birds of a feather flock together. Mike Thurston. This man's natural status is a complete joke. Look at these pictures, age 18 to 22. Okay, what happened, Mike? You start eating more than two chicken breasts at dinner? Just an extra scoop of creatine? Oh, it must have been that gallon of water a day. Bro, I'm insulted as to why people think that this is natural. And then look at 24. Do you see the progression from age 18 to 22 to 24? You think he could just get that big forever? What is he gonna look like at 58? <laughs> this man values women, money, and social media fame. And that's the perfect juicing cocktail. Why not make money while looking good and being a bachelor? I mean, he's doing all three. And he's pretty transparent, like he's made videos about his hair transplant, but he won't make a video on what stack he's taking. Good genetics? Yeah, absolutely. Most people who take steroids are not going to look like this. But guess what? Good genetics doesn't allow you to deviate from the bell curve of what's possible naturally so that you're the superhero fucking hunk walking around the beach with 200 pounds of lean muscle. Like, give me a break. I think this man and Matt Does Fitness are laughing their asses off to the bank with how much money they're making off of social media while giving a false sense of reality to their gullible fans. The next two fitness icons we're going to be talking about are living memes. It's actually pretty funny. First we got the gladiator, Mike O'Hearn. <laughs> Mr. Duck Eggs himself. Oh yeah, I'm big and strong like Superman because I eat duck eggs. Get the fuck out of here. Who believes this man doesn't take steroids? Show yourself. Type in the comments right now if you think Mike O'Hearn is natural. I want to see your face. I want to see your little YouTube icon with your comment being like, Filion, he's natural. Because you don't exist, okay? I think the fitness industry is self-aware enough at this point to realize how much of a joke this is. Bro, this man is 51 years old. It looks like he belongs in Madame Tussauds Wax Museum in New York City. What is going on here? This man drank from the TRT Fountain of Youth. Holy shit, my guy. Generation Iron makes the most dumpster fire fitness content I've ever seen in my life. The fact that they have enough funding to stay afloat is mind boggling. Let's watch the first five seconds of this exclusive interview with the gladiator, Mike O'Hearn. Mike O'Hearn answers the secret to his unbelievable all natural physique. <laughs> so what do you do, what do you, how do you, what do you do? What, you know what, what is your number? Diet? The, the number one thing that works for me and the people that I work with around the world is uh, that carbohydrates needs to stay, stay in the system. My brain is getting fucking smoother by the second. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's the carbohydrates that's key. Now, what, kind of, what, kind of, what kind of carbohydrates? It's too much to go into on one section, but it's basically just rice, uh, any kind of carbohydrate you like. This man is attributing his physique to carbs, to carbohydrates, rice. Doesn't everyone eat rice? <laughs> what? Who is following this man? How does he have two million followers? This man's bicep vein is thicker than my actual Johnson. What is going on here? Who believes this is natural? <laughs> I can't, I can't take this seriously. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna be brain dead by the time I sit down to record my next video. Last but not least, we got Simeon Panda. I sound like a broken record at this point but there's nobody to hold people like this accountable. I really don't have sympathy for this because if you have a following of seven million children, and I say children because any adult has the brain capacity to understand that this is not physically possible without copious amounts of steroids, this right here 
is just an example of end-game social media narcissism at the highest level. You have 7 million gullible people following you and you have the audacity put natural in your bio. It's insulting to my intelligence. It's insulting to everyone who has worked out for more than a year. The only way to deal with this is just to laugh and make memes about it because, I mean, what else can you do? Why did you choose to stay natural? Hey, this is a troll, everyone. Say hello. Hey, what's up? The fitness industry is becoming self-aware, and it's only a matter of time before the fake natties are washed away. Follow me on Twitch at Philion Live. Discord link in the description box. Sunday Sauce podcast posted every Sunday. And by natural, I think Simeon means he's a natural at lying. Hey, Philly, I pulled up, fuck your bitch. Anybody wanna run up, put them all up in the ditch. Push boys, no go, better back up quick. You punk, don't flop, bitch. You ain't shit.